What's up guys, Smart Canopy here. Welcome to TASG. Uh, I'm in the parking lot of downtown Disney. We had, let's pretend we just shot the entire trilogy in one day and I decided to fit in one more vlog, even though I changed shirt and all that stuff. I tried something new this week. I kind of liked how it worked, but um, with a time constraint of an hour, I don't know how possible it would be. Anyways, the reason why I'm here is because it's the only place that has a CD player and I'll have a CD player at home but let's take a look at this um so recently I was gifted the original Fantasmic soundtrack CD and it features both Fantasmic and the Main Street Electrical Parade now there's something very special about this one um which by the way thank you so much Jensen and Heather and Chloe and Steven for uh being there for me uh because we, this is a gift, a birthday gift, a late one, but you know, better late than never. We got it on, on we got it on Saturday, and so when we, so I just like, I remember that there's something very special about this CD, and not just because it was a gift from friends, but there's there's there was something about it, and I, I checked out the thing, but I didn't catch it the first time. It wasn't until I started listening to it, it wasn't like. It wasn't until I started listening to it, until I started hearing this. Let me see, turning on. Uh, this part right here. Listen. If it loads. Let me replay that. So you're 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 watching the Main Street Electrical Parade, right? And he just starts. And I was like, that's right. It's Return to Oz. And for me, sound I, I really appreciate Disney show soundtracks. I really love listening to Live the Magic from Disneyland Forever, Fantasmic, Paint the Night, Main Street Electrical Parade, and you know you name it, I like it, with the exception of Remember Dreams Come True. Uh when I first <laughs> I didn't catch it on the track list, then I found it right after Pete's Dragon, and then they have several other um, floats here, including the 25th anniversary float and To Honor America, and it is Return to Oz. Return to Oz was a unit that lasted for one season, a summer season in 1985. Uh, the story goes that Disney was going to release Return to Oz, um, and to promote the movie, they would have this, this float right here, and it was a pretty basic one um it was a boxy float with tons of mirrors around it and you had the oz characters on there it was pretty simple um but it was one of those uh, promotional things you know a a float that was just to promote a movie similar to uh incredibles 2 and paint the night in 2018 when it came back to dca it was right behind me and so when when that happened, uh, that happened for a summer of, like, one summer. The only reason why it never came back is because, allegedly, it caught fire and it burned down. So, <laughs> ironic. I mean, you have a lot of, you know, you expect a lot of lights that creates a lot of heat and mix that with all the mirrors around, intensifying that heat. Obviously, there was a design flaw, and that was the final nail in the coffin. But it's very rare, and it and for many electrical parade fans, including myself, um, that is basically the the. Did you know about this kind of thing? Um, it's the Disney secret that's not really a secret anymore because there's an entire fan base dedicated to it, and it's it's one of my favorite. I mean, just listen to. Let's listen to it. You know, it's... I mean, the, the sounds, it's just amazing. And so, as much as I'd like to see it in person, uh, the, the movie bombed anyways. $11 million in 1985 over a budget of $28 million, So it didn't really do that well. But it is one of those things that we appreciate as Disney fans.
Anyways, guys, this is a quick video. I'm Mark Catape. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys next week. So long. Thank you.